Hi friends, welcome back to Simply Our Home. Today I thought I'd switch gears just a bit from all the Christmas decorating to some cleaning. So if you're in need for some cleaning motivation, today is your day. If you're new here, my name is Amy. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you in my YouTube family. Thanksgiving holiday, we had a really relaxing, laid back um, weekend, but with that comes a lot of clutter and dust, and so I really need to get on the ball today and just get everything cleaned up and tidied. I hope that you was able to enjoy your uh, extended holiday weekend with your family. I know this year has been really tough for some of us, so I hope that you was able to enjoy yours. Um, for us, we was able to travel to my mom and dad's and then just have a really nice time visiting with my brother and sisters. So it was a really small family gathering and we all masked up and we just hope and pray that we'll just keep all safe and I hope that all of you stay safe as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and clean today and put me on your TV so you can clean along with me. All right, let's get going. Today, I'm starting out here in my master bedroom. First, I just need to pick up and tidy, and of course, I'll make my bed, and then I'll vacuum. What's great is I'll have one room nice and clean, and then I can check it off my list. Gonna lay here on the grass. Sometimes, as a stay-at-home mom or housewife, I've sometimes felt invisible, and I'm sure many of you have felt the same way or even feeling that way right now. Well, I want to let you know that you are important, and what you are doing is so appreciated, even if it's not mentioned. Your family couldn't do it without you. Also, this past Sunday, our church's sermon was on this very topic. I will link it down in the description box if you'd like to take a listen. What is awesome is that Jesus often picks those who feel invisible to do His work. He loves you so very much, and the thing is that you're never invisible to Him. He sees the hard work you do for your family, and He blesses you and is always with you. I encourage you, if you do get time, to listen to this message. You won't regret it. Believe me. If you're enjoying today's video, be sure to hit that like button. It helps me out a lot and it also helps me to know that you are enjoying cleaning motivation and cleaning videos. I still have my Christmas front porch decorate with me along with a few DIY Christmas wreath ideas as well as some fun Christmas baking and recipes still to come. So if you don't want to miss those, be sure you have your notifications on and select all in the drop down box so you'll be the first to see it. Today, I'm using this scented room spray that I found at the Dollar General. I'm super surprised that I'm able to use this and I love this frosted cinnamon scent. I'm really sensitive to room sprays and candles. I either get a headache or a sore throat, but this one luckily is subtle enough that it doesn't affect me that way and it still leaves the room with a really nice lingering cinnamon fragrance. Next, I'm heading into our upstairs hall bathroom, which we recently updated. This is the bathroom that both Caleb and Elena use. Today, I'm not going to be doing a deep clean. Instead, I'm going to quickly wipe down the mirror, clean the vanity area, and then vacuum the floors. I have to admit, this is my least favorite room to clean. Give me laundry and dishes any day, but bathrooms, no thank you. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. 
What is your least favorite area to clean in your home? It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're around, everything will be okay. Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow is So here is a before shot of how our family room currently looks this morning. We spent the biggest amount of time in this room over the Thanksgiving weekend, so it definitely needs to be tidied up and dusted. Although I did try to vacuum the floors daily, keeping up with our two Shebas, shedding keeps me dusting on top of all the furniture all the time as well, but I let that go over the holiday. So there is dog hair everywhere folks, the camera doesn't really show it. Luckily, this vacuum does a great job of picking up all of Moco and Nyla's fluff. So if you're looking for a vacuum for this, I really recommend the Tyneco. I'll link it down in the description box if you're interested. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. So if you guys have a TJ Maxx, check out this little toy if you have a dog. It is so adorable. It's a mug and then you put the little marshmallows in it and then they can search for it and pull out of this hole or this. And Nyla really enjoys this. So if you can find it, it's at TJ Maxx. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. As I'd mentioned before, we really took time to relax and unwind, and with that being said, we watched several movies over the weekend. One that we watched was I Am Mother off Netflix, which is a sci-fi movie, and it was quite strange, but if you're into sci-fi, that one might be one that you would want to consider. Another was The Christmas Chronicles 2, also off Netflix. It was cute, but I have to say I didn't enjoy it as much as I did the first one. Then of course we watched several movies off of the Hallmark Channel. My favorite this weekend was The Christmas Waltz. We also watched If I Only Had Christmas, but again it wasn't one of our favorites. Let me know down in the comments what is your favorite movie that you've watched recently. It's white outside And the night is cold Everyone's lighting candles in their homes Yes, it's Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air That every child Got their hearts filled up With joy Yes, it's Christmas Oh Snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town. Over the weekend, Scott did some touch-ups to our painted cabinets. It's been seven years since we first painted the cabinets, and I have to say they really have held up fantastic. There was just a few places, mainly around the handles, that had some normal wear and tear. I'll be posting the video on the process he used along with how I clean and maintain a microfiber couch. So be on the lookout for that video coming up soon. We allowed the cabinets to dry completely, so today I'm going to get all the handles reattached so that we can close the cabinets. This has totally drove me nuts. Thank goodness we have cabinet doors to cover all the clutter. I'm so happy though with how it turned out. They look brand new again. And with joy and laughter, let us make memories that stay forever. Christmas
Now I'm going to get all of our breakfast dishes cleared from the table and cleaned up and put into the dishwasher. Then I'll hand wash the skillet I cooked my eggs in and then any other dishes that require hand washing and then I'll dry and put them all away. And as I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir sing, Merry Christmas to you. So this is a new cleaner. It's the Mrs. Myers baking soda cream cleanser. So I want to try this out. I've never used it, but I've heard really good things about it. So I'm going to go ahead and clean our sink now. One thing to remember on days that you're feeling unmotivated, I challenge you to start with your sink. Once I've cleaned my sink and have it shining like a new penny, bam, my mood is better and I'm ready to continue getting everything done on my to-do list. So the verdict on this new cleaner is that I really love it. It leaves the sink super shiny and it feels really clean too. I normally just use dish soap and a brush, but I think this is my new favorite. You can get this off of the Grove Collaborative site. Be sure to check out my link down in the description box if you're interested. Moving over to our table, I love to have these placemats on the table, but they do collect a lot of crumbs. So what I'm doing is just shaking them out over the table. Then I'll wipe them up with a dish rag and hot soapy water. Before I add anything back though, I'll make sure that the table surface is dry. So let's go ahead and get all this done. Ever since I got a good look in his eyes, I just knew that he was special. He said he wanted to take it slow, but I couldn't help that I wanted to take it to the next level. Cause I wanted that great love, like standing in the middle of a bonfire. You don't know how you got there, but you hold tight, knowing that you can't get burned. Just tell me how he No kitchen is clean until all the counters are wiped down and disinfected. So today I'll continue using the dish soap and hot water to clean and remove all the crumbs and the grime from the countertops. The dish soap that I'm actually using is the Mrs. Myers and it's in the peppermint scent which I am totally loving for this Christmas season. July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. I couldn't get him off my mind. Now to disinfect the counters and what I love using for this is rubbing alcohol. Not only does it disinfect, but it leaves our quartz counters with an amazing shine. Give it a try. I promise you won't be disappointed.
Recently, I came across this lesson about happiness from one of my Facebook friends' posts, and I wanted to share it with you. It starts with a professor and their students. They brought balloons to a school. One was given to every student who had to inflate it, write their name on it, and throw it in a large hallway. The professors then mixed all the balloons. The students were given five minutes to find their own balloon. Despite a hectic search, no one found their balloon. At that point, the professors told the student to take the first balloon that they found and handed it to the person whose name was on it. Within five minutes, everyone had their own balloon. The professors said to the students, these balloons are like happiness. We will never find it if everyone is looking for their own. But if we care about other people's happiness, we'll find ours too. I just thought that was a really beautiful representation of how we can all find our happiness. I hope that you've enjoyed today's Clean With Me and that I gave you tons of cleaning motivation. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. Remember, if you did enjoy today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. I'll leave you with a short clip of my family decorating our Christmas tree on Thanksgiving. Now this one is filled with all of our Christmas ornaments and it is a no rules, no one changes what's been placed type of decorating. I have to tell you my teens love this and they really had fun. I also enjoyed not having to worry about the placement and the aesthetics and it just had a relaxing time with my family. I hope that you continue to have a wonderful holiday season. I hope to see you in my next one. Merry Christmas, friends. Bye.